Our verse today is Genesis chapter 3, verse 12. The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. After the man and the woman ate of the tree that God had forbidden them, because the serpent deceived them, God questioned both the man and the woman. The man is asked, Where are you? To that question he replies, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He was then asked, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The response is what we have in our verse. Instead of simply answering in the affirmative that he had eaten and then apologized, the man blamed his fault on God and the woman. He blames God for giving him the woman. It was the woman whom you gave to me. The woman you gave to be with me. In other words, I was living on my own. I had no problem. You gave me the woman when I did not request for her. If you didn't give me the woman, I would not have eaten of the tree. In other words, God, you are at fault. God is at fault for giving him the woman. The man had forgotten that God did not want him to be lonely and made him a helpmate. And when the helpmate was presented to him, he exclaimed, At last, this is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Genesis chapter 2 verse 23. He was happy when the woman came. The man also blamed the woman. She gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. He did not take it by himself. It was given to him. The problem with many of us is the inability to own up to our weaknesses and faults. Many people want to blame their faults on other people. My parents or siblings have not supported me, which is why I have not been able to make progress in life. The developing countries blame the colonial masters for their present woes. God indeed gave the woman to the man. The woman indeed gave the fruit of the tree to the man. But the man had the choice to write his own history by sticking to what God had told him before he gave him the woman. He also had a choice to refuse the offer from the woman. In the same way, we all have choices to say no to what we do not want or to rewrite our history even if one had been written for us in the past. Stop blaming others. Just see how to change the narrative in your life. Leave out the village spirits or the spirits of our ancestors that are resting in peace. Focus on your life. Stop blaming others. Lord, help us own up to our failures and work towards changing things for good in the future. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day.